Yeah, I still have it, you know, and I still do it, uh, but it's just it's, the circumstances have changed, right? So you know, let me ask you this: Why why did you get into the notary business? Out of all businesses, right? I mean, let's be honest: the notary business flies under the radar. A lot of people don't know about it, especially when it comes to traveling notaries. What? How how'd you get into this business? You know, uh, that's a good question, but it's pretty simple. Hmm. So around 2016, 17, you know, I really wanted to buy a house, right? And where I live in California, boy, you better make some bread, make some real dough. I'm sorry. Listen, there's so much valuable property here, so much money here. I live in the tech innovation capital of the world. Right? So you're in Silicon Valley. This is Silicon Valley, man. This is That's home crazy. Of Facebook, home of Twitter home of uh, Dropbox, home of uh, Salesforce, home of Oracle. I mean, I could go on and on, IBM, Apple, they're like right down the street from here, right? Mm -hmm. And um, in order to do this, listen, do you need a lot of money? No, you don't necessarily, but you need to know, you need to understand how the game is played. And business ownership is a large part of that game, right? Mm -hmm. So looking into that, I uh, came across Boyce Watkins. I came across uh, a lot of uh, thought leaders who are promoting, you know, business ownership in the black community. Right? Andre Hatchet happens to come across my page as well. I'm like, who is this brother, man? He kind of looks like me. <laughs> he got glasses. He's <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, shout out to Andre Hatchet. Listen, Andre Hatchet. I want to give a special shout out to him, man. I got to do. A, we we can do a whole episode just on him, right? We can do a, a whole. Oh, I, you know, I might have him on the show. Yeah, so, don't miss that if you can. Yeah. But um, so coming to uh, after uh, learning even more about business ownership, seeing Andre Hatcher here and there, I'm like, what's, I know what a notary is, but not really. You understand what I'm saying? You know, I know what a notary is, but not really. I didn't know the depth in the history of notary, and I've come to learn about it. But funny story at Afrotech. You, are, if you're familiar, Afrotech is a big No, nah, I never heard of that. Yeah, it's a big uh, conference for black tech uh, 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 people, you know, people who work in tech. Okay. And um, turns out, Andre was there. So, and I saw his name pop up and I said, listen, I got to meet this guy. Mm -hmm. Got to meet this guy. Happened to meet him and it was his from there. He said, listen, I've been following your videos, watching here and there. He said, listen, man, if you're interested, you're probably good at it, given your skill set, uh, things that you're interested in. Get it. I broke up with my ex-girl. Here's a number. Psych, that's the wrong number. Due to the massive impact social media and technology are having on the notary industry, the rise of the smart notary is in full effect. Are you prepared for the inevitable changes or will you become obsolete? Nationwide notary agency owner Tiger Toledo shows you exactly how to leverage opportunities that currently exist. Through real-life examples, personal stories, insight, and examples, Tiger shares how he took his small one-man traveling notary service to a nationwide success using the same technology available to you. Rise of the Smart Notary will teach you how to take advantage of today's opportunities. Provide strategies and tips for using social media. Breakdown of the traditional way versus the new way of doing business. How you can exploit the opportunities that exist today. Tiger will also teach you how to work smarter not harder. Explain top mistakes notaries make with their business. Provide immediate steps you can take towards success. Grab your copy today.
It will change your life. We got some, we, we got some easy lives, right? It's, and again, this is all relative, right? To what people are going through, but sometimes that level of comfort is what's holding a lot of people back. And when you yes. are faced against, listen, man, I was driving Lyft. I was doing like all these little uh, odd jobs here and there. I got, I had some savings. I was good, but I didn't want to dip into my savings because that dip, the savings will disappear real quick. So in the meantime, I wanted to get some money going and, uh, Whatever, man. I'm doing. Listen, when I was, there was one particular time when I was driving Lyft, and again, we are in the tech capital of the world. One of my passengers, I had passengers, I had the, the CEO of Fitbit was in my car one time. I had, uh, you know, I had all kind of entrepreneurs. And one thing I learned was asking questions. That's one thing that the Ask questions. 250, Huge. $250, call script talks about. Ask questions. If you're not comfortable with talking to strangers, you can't be successful. You've got to be agree. able to talk to people, right? So, and I've had I have this history of examining patients, asking questions, trying to figure out what what their ailments are. So I just use that to my advantage, right? I had an executive from Thumbtack, and that's something we'll talk about later on. This app called Thumbtack. Some people never heard of it. It's an app. It's like TaskRabbit, Craigslist, Angie's List, those type of uh, uh, professional referral services. And he said, "Hey, man, you should get on this app." I said, "Really?" He said, "Yeah, yeah. You should try it out. See what you think." And next thing you know. I tried it out, started to get some hits, have some success, and I used the 250,000 call script, uh, applied that to my business model, start removing certain uh, points. Or now, let, let, let's talk about that. Let, let, let's unpack that, right? So you were able to do something really interesting with the combination of some apps, right? Which right. allowed you to automate your notary appointments and payment gateways. Yeah, you combine two apps. Tell tell the people about that a little. Uh, how how you were able like <laughs> the frame of okay. mind of thinking they even do. I didn't even think of that, dude. Like you put me on the game. So All tell right. people about how you did that. All right, so let's get pay attention, it. ladies and gentlemen. But hold on, real quick. I want to welcome everybody because people are just still coming in the room and everything. So shout out to you guys um, for for coming in and joining us on the Notary War Room. We're here with Tech Amaku. Uh, he is about to break down how he was able to automate his scheduling, payment gateways for him to run appointments, and a lot of times he doesn't even speak no. to the client. So break that down for us, brother. Let me ask.